I don't like to say that I hate anything, but the music video for Rum Pum Pum has always kind of irked me. The Pink Tape album is incredibly high concept. I mean, an art film was released as a part of the promotional period for this album, so I've always wondered why the Rum Pum Pum music video is so standard second gen k-pop music video. We got the primary color, glossy, and geometric set designs through and through. The neon color outfits, pattern layering, Sully wearing a supreme hat, like I really don't like this music video. In retrospect, it does not match the Pink Tape album's concept at all, which is described as an homage to indie films about romance. I mean, the Pink Tape album is not high concept in the sense that it doesn't present an idea that's easy to pick up on and synthesize. The music video certainly doesn't help with this, and I've always felt that the missing puzzle piece to this release was a high concept music video that took inspiration from the art film that was released during the promotional period. And there's also an interesting dynamic to this as well, because I feel like instrumentally, Rum Pum Pum is telling the story of some kind of western film. In my mind, if I'm the director for this music video, I would try to emulate an indie old school western film where they're trying to to chase some kind of bandit who is the love interest. There's definitely a lot to be desired after finishing the music video, and again, this has always made me kind of mad, but the reason why I look back at this release in retrospect today is because I've kind of found a silver lining to the issues I have with the Rum Pum Pum music video over time. I wish this music video would have taken a high concept approach, similar to what they did for Red Light and Four Walls, but then I really start to think about why Rum Pum Pum's music video is what it is. The lack of a conceptual music video for this song is not an isolated incident. Really, none of FX's releases before this received a music video that matched the song's concept. I would say their best early career music video is Electric Shock, in my opinion, but again, there's still a lot to be desired by the end. Most of FX's music videos in their early career follow the standard second gen music video set designs. It's basically a performance video with one bright colored set and another set with geometric shapes in the set design. You'd be hard pressed to find a second gen K-pop music video that doesn't have either one or both of these set designs. So the silver lining I found throughout considering why the music video sets are so basic second generation is because that was the standard. Rum Pum Pum's music video really couldn't have been anything else, and it was instead the art film released during the promotional period that served as the catalyst for a serious kind of change, not just for FX, but the K-pop industry at large in a lot of ways. The Pink Tape album, in retrospect, established the merit to fleshing out a concept throughout all aspects of a release. We know that the art film was a passion project that was given quite a low budget, as it was the first of its kind. The team behind this album's concept work used the art film to accomplish what the music video couldn't. SM didn't know if it was a worthy investment because this was very much a new frontier. The art film ended up being received pretty well and broke down some pretty huge barriers in the process. FX's musical concept was now being shown in visual video media and it worked. It landed pretty well with audiences. It set a precedent that there is value to committing to a concept throughout most if not all aspects of a release, and this consequently translates to the next and last two albums of FX's career so far. Red Light and Four Walls, both of which break away from the second gen music video convention, to establish a serious visual concept for this group. Still to this day, Red Light and Four Walls music videos are some of the best in K-pop in my opinion. Once this group was given the freedom to explore more visual styles in their music videos, they went all in. It's in this way that I've developed a bit of an appreciation for the Rum Pum Pum music video for what it is, even Sully's Supreme Hats. The Pink Tape album today is widely celebrated as one of K-pop's best, rightfully so because of the cohesiveness of the musical product and simply for just how good the album is. It provides a great scope of FX's range as a quite experimental group who aren't afraid to push the limits musically and vocally. This release's impact didn't stop there, however. The project, as it intended to be a high-concept album, was genuinely one of the first of its kind in the world of K-pop, at least for girl groups at that time. The uniqueness of the album packaging as well established a lot of standards in the industry in its own right and ended up winning a design award. The physical album carried over the indie film concept, oddly enough featuring Kai as the love interest, and again, in its praise and success, established the importance of a visual concept. I'm really glad that the Pink Tape album is lifted up in recognition for what it is, but I always think it could do with more appreciation for just how groundbreaking this project truly was. It represents the evolution of K-pop during one of the most crucial and transformative periods in the industry so far, and in that way, I have grown to appreciate the Rum Pum Pum music video for what what it was able to be, what it could only be during that time, right? Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. 
FX was one of the earlier groups that got me into K-pop, but I've only just recently started a bit of an FX renaissance. I haven't been able to stop listening to their songs, and Rum Pum Pum has been, I think, the most on repeats. I've been going back and watching through their music videos, which is what led me to making this video. Thank you for watching this. If you did, definitely let me know what you think. If you have any other ideas about FX, the Pink Tape album, or anything else, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time.